We began this portion of the news with a murder in Georgia that actually might have ties back to our area. Police there in the state have arrested a Venezuelan migrant for the murder of a university college student. Uh, he was previously arrested here in New York, raising concerns about why he was set free. Robert Moses, are we really raising concerns about that? Isn't well, that the way it works here? Well, uh, Roseanne and Kurt, first of all, he was charged with non-bail eligible offenses, but even that's beside the point because given that New York is a sanctuary city, the police department would not have told the feds about his arrest. So here we are. Lake and Riley was a Dean's List student who went out for a run on Thursday and never came back. Her death is renewing calls to fix the crisis at the border. Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirms to Fox News that the NYPD arrested 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra in September and charged him with acting in a manner to injure a child less than 17 and a motor vehicle license violation. One year earlier, Ibarra, a Venezuelan national, had illegally entered the U.S. near El Paso. Last week, police arrested him for the murder of Lake and Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student at Augusta University. She was found dead near a lake on the campus of the University of Georgia, where she had previously attended. Ibarra appeared in court on Saturday, but he was not seen on camera. A judge denied his bond. Ibarra's wife told the New York Post that she and Ibarra married so they could join their asylum cases. I have a lot of faith that this wasn't him, that there was a misunderstanding somewhere, she told the paper. But if he did, he has to pay for what he did truly. Georgia's Republican Governor Brian Kemp laid the blame for the border crisis at President Joe Biden's feet. This is an issue that the president can take action on. And I know he's trying to blame, you know, inaction in Congress. That is passing the buck. We know that there's things that he can do. Back here in the city, police say they're looking for at least 16 more people in connection with the stabbing in Times Square Thursday of a 17-year-old who is believed to be a migrant from Nicaragua. The NYPD released these images of outstanding suspects. Six people have already been arrested for their roles in the stabbing. Police say the suspects punched and kicked the victim and stabbed him in the back. He was taken to Bellevue Hospital in stable condition. Police say the suspects were last seen entering the Times Square subway station. President Biden arrives here in the city later on today, right around 1.40 or so, and then he will leave tonight. He's expected to tape an interview with late-night host Seth Meyers while he's here in Rockefeller Center. So expect traffic tie-ups in and around that area, and we'll also be watching to see if he says anything about this migrant crisis. Curtin Rosanna, back to you. Okay, thanks so much.